I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk, I assure you. Doom, otherwise known as Doom 2016, is the fourth title in the Doom series and was developed by id Software and published by Bethesda Softworks. This game is phenomenal. It's easily one of the best single player campaigns I've played in quite some time and one of the best I've ever played in terms of that first person shooter run and gun style. Doom doesn't necessarily break new ground, it doesn't really do anything we haven't seen before, but you notice the attention to detail that was put into this game. id Software knows what Doom is, they know you know what Doom is, and they want you to know that they know that you know what Doom is. The opening sequence of a game can tell you a lot about it. Is this going to be a story focused game? Are there a lot of complicated mechanics I have to learn? Is it something like an RPG where I need to create my own character? The opening sequence of Doom tells you one thing. You are here to kill demons. Why are you here to kill demons? Because they're fucking attacking you right from the start of the game. Here you go. Have a gun. You should probably shoot these guys. It doesn't tell you how to shoot the gun. It doesn't have some long, drawn-out cutscene that tells you guns kill demons. It says, Hello, player. I respect the fact that you have a brain. Here's a gun. Figure it out. By the way, use WASD to move and left-click to shoot. There's a level of respect given to the player by the developer that I think goes a long way. Right after the first sequence and a brief quasi cutscene, you come across the Doomslayer armor sitting in some sort of shrine. Then there's a moment where just in case you had any doubts left of what sort of game this was, they're put to rest immediately. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I don't give a shit what you have to say, Samuel. I'm the motherfucking Doom Slayer, bitch. I battle the beasts of hell with a shotgun and a chainsaw. Where are the demons at, bro? Are they up here? Don't worry, I'll figure it out. We're barely five minutes into this game and already everything is set up for us to move forward. To me, it's kind of like a modern day reimagining of what classic games used to do where they kind of just threw you into the action. Doom's opening has all the elements of a AAA title while still hanging on to that old school charm to the first bit of arena combat and, and that's really interesting because we had a rule if you stand in place you're dead this game is not easy i'm pretty good at fps they're my favorite genre of games and i've played them for years but at some points this game kicked my fucking ass they just beat the shit out of you you think you've gotten past something and you'll get a checkpoint and it's like hold on dude you're not there just yet each enemy gets introduced slowly throughout the game and as your character gets stronger so do the guys you have to fight you start off with two guns and maybe two types of enemies, and by the end of the game you've got like ten guns, each with two attachments, twelve different types of enemies all trying to kill you at the same time, and they all do something different. So you're running through using the rocket launcher, then you got to switch to the shotgun, then the assault rifle, then the railgun, and if you stop moving for a second you're dead, and you will die. But you'll learn. You're gonna learn today. You'll come back and know, this guy spawns here. There's a power up here that I should use when this dude shows up. You develop strategies, learn little cheeky things you can do to stay alive, and what happens is the encounters stop feeling random and start to feel unique. Yes, I'm killing the same enemies using the same weapons, but I'm forced to approach each encounter a little bit differently. There is one specific moment that I feel the need to talk about. If you don't know, there's one gun specific to the Doom series that I think really stands out. The big fucking gun, the BFG. You find out where it is, and then there's this whole segment dedicated to figuring out how to get it. And once you do, you're just so excited to use it, you just want to see what you can do with it. And then this. All personnel, please proceed to the Lazarus Do not This game is awesome. I have to admit something. I don't really like exploration in games. I just don't. It's always been a problem for me. I remember watching my brother play Ocarina of Time and I would always get annoyed when he'd backtrack and go look for items and whatnot. 
With Doom, I had a different problem. I couldn't play through these levels without finding every single secret. A stage that might take a normal person 15 to 20 minutes would take me upwards of an hour. I was just obsessed. But it was so fun moving through the levels, finding guns, armor upgrades, little secret Doom statues that play the retro music when you pick them up. You're given a map, and the map is gray, but as you move through it, the map turns blue. If you upgrade parts of your armor, you can even see where the secrets are hidden, which sounds silly, but some of them are still really difficult to find, especially these little levers that open doors to some retro Doom areas. What happens as a result of this is a load of backtracking, but it's completely optional. All they do is give you the tools and a choice. You don't want to explore, then feel free to move on. But if you do choose to take a look around, you'll be rewarded not only with upgrades and secrets, but with a higher knowledge and understanding of the level that you're playing on. And that's what made the exploration so great for me. These levels that maybe otherwise would feel similar to a more linear style of FPS became something much more. I started to learn which door led to where, little jumps and shortcuts that could get me around faster, and that for me was the biggest reward. That I was getting better at the level because I was willing to put the time into it. As a result, each stage started to feel unique and different, even though for the most part, I was doing exactly the same thing in each of them. Rewarding your players in a meaningful way is a concept in game design that I feel too often gets forgotten, but it's something Doom did extremely well. The music. Oh my god, the music. You might not like it, I get that music is subjective, but damn is it fitting. You're going through a level, you know, killing a little guy here or there, finding some health and armor, and then you come across a nest. And here we go! Shit gets you amped up to kill some bad dudes, and then you think you're done? Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. And then holy shit, here comes this guy! I don't have anything else to say about it. I, I love the music. In a world of reboots, sequels, and imitators, Doom shines. They've shown us that single-player campaigns should not be treated as an afterthought. It's a game with a strong sense of self and identity. It's Doom, and it doesn't try to be anything else.